What's up guys, it's Naruto620, Hashirama send you. And this is continuing the really good um, chapters of Naruto. You know, it's, just, it's plain and simple, it's a good chapter. Um, uh, admittedly, not a lot happens, I'll, gi I'll give you that, not a lot happens. It's one of those weird chapters where not a lot happens, but a, f a, a fair bit else happens. Maybe maybe what I should be saying is that not, not a lot happens uh, that you maybe expect, but, well, you know, it's kind of a stalling chapter. Basically, Sasuke's like, tell me what you know, tell me everything. Um, the shinobi betrayed my brother and yet he still wanted to protect them, so just tell me what the hell this all means. Tobirama then uh, flips out and he's like, you are possessed by evil as well, I'll destroy you and what and whatnot. And we get a really freaking badass page of Hashirama Senju when he turns around and he's like, and he's just like, Tobirama. And he's just like, I'm going to kill you, basically, if you don't fucking shut up. But, um, that's really cool, though, because when Tobirama and Hashirama start, like, going all pretty angry, everyone just starts preparing for battle. You know, their chakra is, like, destroying the building because someone, I think it's Orochimaru, holds his hand out, or is it Minato? Someone like that. I can't remember. And a bit of the roof falls into his hand. Um, that was freaking crazy. So cool, though. I really like that bit. Um, and it looks even better with the Edo Tensei eyes. Um, oh yeah. Basically, um, Sasuke wants Hashirama to tell him about everything, and they say that if Sasuke isn't turned off his path, he'll become the new Madara. Um, this is when Orochimaru reveals to them that Madara is back, he's waging a war, um, and they want to go out and fight, understandably, but Orochimaru is still able to control their movements. Tobarama's like, screw this, I'm leaving. He's still my least favourite Hokage, by the way. Definitely my least favourite. And, um, he can't leave, though, because Orochimaru manages to slow him down. And they're all like, wow, that's pretty impressive. And I think Hashirama is able to break Orochimaru's control over him. I can't remember. Orochimaru says something like that. But, um, yeah. So he puts Tobirama in his place, and then Hashirama, really funny actually, because after he has his kind of evil, angry moment, he goes back to being goofy old Hashirama. Really nice contrast between the two characters. Um, and then he basically says that I will tell this boy everything he needs to know. Um, interestingly, Minato notices Naruto and the Kyuubi's chakra, and he's like, oh, you managed to do it? Yes. Well, I thought that was nice. Um... And then basically it ends with a flashback of Hashirama versus Madara back in the day. Um, and he says that in order for you to understand, I need to start with Uchiha and Senju. And that's the end of the chapter. Really good chapter, I really enjoyed it. Uh, 9 out of 10. I thought maybe there was a bit lacking in terms of story. It was a bit annoying how it's the last chapter ended with Sasuke asking him this question. We didn't even get to that question until the end of the chapter. Bit annoying. The art was really nice this week, I thought. Um, especially with in terms of emotion, Hashirama looking like a psycho at one point. Uh, same with Tobirama, in fact, he looked like a psycho at one point as well. Just this overall feeling of power that you get from these guys. You know, they only had to look at each other pretty nastily for everyone to start drawing drawing arms. Um, that was really nice. Really nice little tidbits of information being thrown around and it ended on a really cool flashback which poses an awesome chapter for next week. Um, but as for now, 9 out of 10, um, I thought it was really nice. Every time, every time I do one of these reviews, I get comments saying that people don't think Sasuke is going to turn good, they think he's still going to be on the path of the bad guy. But I, I don't understand where Kishi's going with that, if, if that is the case. Everything is being bit, really seems to be built up for Sasuke to change his mind. Because at the beginning of this chapter, he's like, let me know the truth so that I can either just take revenge on the leaf, or, and then he just stops. And it's like, or oh, what, Sasuke? May as well say what's on your mind, because you're clearly thinking it. He's clearly thinking it. So, I, I'm really advocating that he's not going to be... I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's quite difficult. I st Orochimaru is an interesting case as well. Is he evil or what? He could definitely be pulling some kind of I'm evil behind the scenes sort of thing. But as for now, he definitely doesn't seem it. He doesn't seem antagonistic towards the Hokage really at all. Um, 
so yeah, that's very interesting. Um, I don't know if we have, but I kind of want some explanation of those to why Orochimaru is Team Sasuke now all of a sudden. Like he's, I mean, admittedly, there's not much left for Orochimaru at the moment. He's he's very much I don't care about this war. So yeah, maybe he's just doing what interests him. But yeah, that's kind of all I've got for today. What did you guys think of the chapter? Do you guys like Hashirama? Do you like the Hokages? What do you think about Sasuke's fate? But yeah, see you then.